This video topic was requested by my patron, Nikki Marie. If you would like to become a patron and have your video topic requests prioritized, link down below. Now I'm going to tell you something that might be upsetting. If you were banned, you probably did something that caused that ban. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about what to do when you've been banned. So yes, new setup. People that have been watching the stream have seen this already. So if you haven't been watching the stream, why not? Go ahead and come check it out. You can watch it live on twitch.tv slash it's Karen Terry, or the VODs are on this channel if you miss our live show, which is almost every Saturday from noon until 2 p.m. Eastern time. Also, this isn't the final configuration of the lighting and everything, but it's time to film August's videos, so we are filming August's videos, even though it's not exactly finalized. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think of uh, what I've got going on so far, and uh, stay tuned for just a couple more changes in probably the next round of videos. So, you've been banned from a roleplay. That really sucks. You're probably going through a lot of emotions right now. If you were really invested in the roleplay, those emotions might be really intense, and even if you weren't that invested, it still sucks to be banned and it still hurts. Or maybe you weren't exactly banned, but you left because you kind of saw the writing on the wall. Maybe you got some strikes or some warnings, or you've been talked to about things that you weren't planning on changing, or whatever the case, and you ended up leaving and you don't feel so good about it. Either way, life and roleplay goes on. So what do you do now? So that's what we're going to discuss today. Whether you are a first-time banny or a serial banny, we're going to go through a process today that should help you understand what happened and deal with it. So step one is handle those emotions that you're having. Now, when it comes to this, it's important to not reach out to the mods or any of the players that were involved in regards to getting you banned. This is not something that you should do during this step. You need time to think. You know how you decompress best, so if that means reaching out to a friend, then reach out to a friend that wasn't involved in the roleplay. If that means putting some time into another hobby such as video games, or solo writing, or reading, or whatever else it is you like to do, maybe put some time into that. What you're doing when you're decompressing is giving yourself at least 24 hours of thinking time. The reason why I say 24 hours is it is amazing how differently you'll feel about a situation after you've had a chance to have a good night's sleep and a good meal. All sorts of amazing, magical things happen in your brain when you give yourself time to step away from a problem and come back to it the next day. So I say at least 24 hours, but you know yourself best in when those emotions are handled, so it might be longer for you, and if it is, you take that time you know best when you've calmed down from the situation. So then, once you have calmed down, let's move on to step number two, and that is assess the situation. Now I'm gonna tell you something that might be upsetting. If you were banned, you probably did something that caused that ban. Does that mean that your banning was fair? Maybe not, but roleplay groups are a private club. They are not your employer, and they are not a public space so bannings don't have to be fair. Since your goal is to accurately assess this situation, ask yourself two questions. The first question is who are all of the parties involved in your ban? A hint, one of them is you, of course. And then your second question is what did each of those parties do to contribute to your ban? Once you understand what each party that was involved did to contribute to the situation, including yourself, then you can move on from assessment to conclusion of the situation. So that's step number three, to take all of the information that you just assessed and use it to reach a conclusion. In this conclusion, you're going to look for what you could have done differently to improve the situation. You can only control yourself. You cannot control the other parties in that situation or what they did to contribute to your ban. So what that means is that you need to think about what you can do differently. Here's some examples of conclusions that you might come to when you're kind of going through this so you can get an idea of what things that you might think based on what you know. Maybe next time you de-escalate a situation instead of escalating that situation. Maybe you should spend more time observing other people in the role play so that you have a better idea of what's socially acceptable in that space. Maybe your conclusion is you need to do a better job recognizing if a role play is even really for you in the first place. 
Yeah, sometimes the change is literally just doing a better job figuring out if a roleplay is really for you before you join it. But luckily, I made a whole video on that. I will link that up in the card for you. So go check it out if you are in that situation where you keep choosing roleplays that just really aren't a fit for you. And now that you have determined what you could have done differently, step number four should be obvious. Do the different thing next time. Yes, I know this is easier said than done, especially if you're somebody that keeps getting banned over and over from role plays. But if you go through this exercise each time you get banned, you're going to be better and better at recognizing it and attempting to fix it the next time. And that's the process. Notice how nowhere in this video did I say anything about appealing the ban or trying to get back into the role play or going and talking to the people that banned you. All of those things are not necessary. Remember, roleplay is a private club, and you were banned. Also, there's plenty of other roleplays out there. There's no reason for you to try to get back into the roleplay that banned you. Think about it. Even if you successfully mend that situation and get back into the roleplay, your banning still happened. And what that means is that you broke that social contract with that roleplay group. And it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible in some situations, to actually, you know, mend that in such a way that you can have those close connections that are required for successful roleplay. And even if it was like 100% not your fault, do you really want to go back to a place that banned you? That situation is always going to be in the back of your mind, and because of that, it's going to be difficult again for you to form those close bonds that are required for successful roleplay. Those ties are severed, so what you can do is do better next time. Just like dating, there are plenty of fish in the sea. There are plenty of roleplays on the internet. And one situation does not define your entire roleplay experience. So, to recap, if you're banned, take yourself through these steps. First step is handle your emotions. Then, assess what happened. Next, figure out what you could have done differently in that situation. And lastly, do better next time. So I hope this helps some of you guys that are either going through that situation or maybe in the future when you do go through that situation, you can remember back to this process. I know this was kind of a downer topic, but I do feel like this is something that happens. I know in my Discord server, we do sometimes have people come in saying, I was just banned, what do I do about it? Like they really want to take that action to like fix the situation. So hopefully this process will make you feel like, okay, I'm doing something about it, I'm fixing the situation, but then you don't end up going back and embarrassing yourself further. But even though this was a downer topic, of course, as always, don't forget, let me know down below your experiences with this because I would love to kind of expand on this topic a little bit if there's more advice that I can give. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.